did you know footballers in the early 90s used to have mullets? Did, did they? Yeah. They looked completely gay. Fine, I'll get my hair cut. If you were a fan of football in the early 90s then it was a very good time to jump into the world of football video games. Super Soccer was about as complicated a game the SNES could handle at that time. Compared to the frankly horrific attempts on the NES, this was a definite step up in quality, even if this was the era when goalies all have mullets. 16 international teams to choose from and a vast selection of game modes. The game plays from an end-on perspective, which leaves one player with the advantage until the end of the half. All players within vicinity of the ball will make an attempt to kick it, and any attempt at dribbling results in a bad case of hand cramp. And if you score an own goal, well, we thought that too. The game comes into its own with penalty shootouts. You manually control your kicker and your goalie alternately, and the winner is usually whoever scores the most out of five attempts. It's a touch more advanced than its Mega Drive equivalent in Italia 90, but it lacks that game's multiplayer charm. But it does have mullets. 7 out of 10. <laughs>